It shouldn't come as a shock that what we feed our babies makes a big difference. And anybody who's naive enough to think that you put a few things in, in milk to make infant formula, that you're going to make anything like what breast milk is like. And for years, that's what we did. And we wound up with malnourished babies. We also know that, we, the, that a baby's brain will develop depending on what you feed it. And there was a study that was done in a journal called NeuroImage in June of 2013 on 133 babies uh, that were 10 months to 4 years old, and they divided them into three groups. One group was exclusively fed breast milk uh, for three months. The second group was fed a combination of breast milk and formula, and the third group was only fed uh, the formula. And they used quiet MRIs, a special kind of MRI that they, did, that they took on these babies uh, while they were asleep to see how well their, bro their brains were functioning. And what they found was when they did, they did uh, these, the, these MRIs is that the babies who were fed the breast milk did much better in terms of developing myelin uh, uh, in their brains, which is very important because it's what helps make nerve conduction work at a, at a rate that we need to have. They also looked at cognitive testing in these kids, and what they found is that uh, they had special uh, improvement in things like language skills, their visual perception, and in motor control. The babies that were fed breast milk for more than a year did the best compared to those that were fed less than a year. Most of those changes were, had to do with physical uh, changes that occurred in the baby. Now we've known for years that it's important to feed baby essential fatty acids, things that have uh, alpha-linolenic acid and linoleic acid. These are the fats that our bodies can't make but must have in order to have normal development, particularly of the brain. And for about, uh, it took us forever to include these in infant formula. And when we did do that, we found out what the Japanese had found out 20 years before, and that's that when we added those essential fatty acids, that our babies had a higher IQ. So what we do to our babies makes a huge difference. And it only makes sense that if we don't have the raw materials to make the products that we need to make because we're not taking them in, that they're just not going to get made. And if you think somehow you're going to change infant formula to be something like, like uh, breast milk, think again. We've done a few sessions on this and have some, some videos on infant formula on the site, drsubuta.com. Put that in the search box and up will come a lot of information that will explain to you the complexity of breast milk. So what we're looking at here is a study that really tells us that we are on the right track when we follow Mother Nature. If we don't follow what she sets up, a lot of the time, because it's convenient or because we have special uh, needs that we think are more important than living in, in our environment the way it was made, we get ourselves into trouble. And it's why we get into situations where we have nutritional deficiencies that are widespread. There have been several studies done by the USDA on tens of thousands of people, and they show that we're deficient in all kinds of, of minerals and nutrients and vitamins that are essential for development. So to find that breast milk works better in our babies and it makes for more coordinated, more intelligent babies who have better language skills and better visual skills, breast milk is the way to go.